Amen. In Jesus' name, uh, I'm rounding up based on what is written in Psalm 15, verse 1. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle and who shall dwell in thy holy hills? Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you this morning for how far you have been with us and how you are going to be with us for the rest of the day. Lord, we want to constantly dwell in your tabernacle. We want to dwell in your presence, Lord. We don't want to worship God from afar, but we want to dwell in that place whereby we'll be able to commune with you all the time. That even as we begin to commune with you, we'll be able to hear you clearly. We'll be able to know the direction for our lives, for every area of our family, concerning our ministry and our calling, Lord. Father, this is our desire, Lord. It is our desire. We want to dwell in your presence, the presence of God. That is all we are praying for. We need your presence because we know when we have the presence of God in our lives, we don't need to worry. We don't need to be afraid of any danger of tomorrow or the future because you hold our future in your hands. Father, we pray that the grace to abide in your tabernacle, the grace to constantly dwell in God's presence, Lord, you will give to each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. These that you have started with us, Father, we pray that every one of us, Lord, and as many that will be joining in this platform, Lord, we pray that we shall benefit to God, we shall be partakers of your blessing in the name of Jesus. Spirit, we are depending on you. We are depending on you. We cannot do anything by our own power, but we are depending solely on you, that even as we begin to commune with the Father, even as we begin to commune with you, Jesus, as you commune with you, the Holy Spirit, you will continue to guide us, you will direct our footsteps. We will not miss the purpose and the plan of God for our lives in Jesus' name. Father, we just want to say once again, thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Father. In thank Jesus' Lord. name, we we'll pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, yeah. sorry, you can't see my face, but we can we understand of the Go ahead. Okay. Are, are you done? You want me to take over? You want to take your three minutes? Auntie Ronke, you want to take your three minutes or you want me to take over? Yes, I just want to take the three minutes to, en to encourage us because, you know, in that Psalm 15 that we read, it talked about the character of someone who will constantly dwell in God's tabernacle. When I mean God's tabernacle, someone who is going to be a carrier of God's presence. The way we need to walk, the way we do things, he said, one will need to walk uprightly, one will need to walk righteously, and one will need to speak the truth in his heart. He said, he that backbited not with his tongue, nor that doeth evil to his neighbor, nor take it up a reproach against his neighbor. I just want to encourage us that all these things, it is not easy for anybody to say, I am not going to be fall short of this. But through the Spirit of God and the presence of God in our lives, we will be able, we can live a holy life that will begin to please God because pleasing God will make somebody to dwell in God's one's presence. Because you know, for you to dwell in God's presence, you must be a pleaser of God. You must be someone that God will begin to delight in all the time. And I pray that this will be our portion in the name of Jesus. And Amen. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you, Antimi. So, Antimi Treasure, you take us tomorrow morning. Is that okay?